What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Ubisoft and a game they have coming out soon that some people are excited for and I don't really know what to think at this point about the game because the first game I really didn't feel. I just didn't really enjoy it. One of the big debacles of the original Watch Dogs game was that on consoles there was a, a very noticeable graphics decline or a degrade. You could tell that the game did not look the way it did in previous trailers, uh, the reveal trailer, None of that stuff transitioned very well into the home console, and a lot of people were upset about it. And uh, I'll drop a link in the description. Watch Dogs visual downgrade was because of the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Watch Dogs senior producer Dominique Guay reveals that the original Watch Dogs visual downgrade was because the developer didn't know enough about the PS4 and the Xbox One. When Ubisoft's open world hacking game Watch Dogs released on PCs and consoles in 2014, one of the biggest controversies to surround the game was that its visuals had been downgraded from the game's impressive E3 2012 reveal. As charted on this video, you guys click on the link and definitely see the video. Of Ubisoft's history of visual downgrades, although the E3 demo of the sandbox title wild viewers with its lighting and animations along with the crowded settings, the actual retail version of the game wasn't nearly as good looking or realistic. PC players even put together a Watch Dogs graphics mod aiming to make the game look as good as the original E3 reveal. In a new interview with the Evening Standard, Watch Dogs senior producer Dominique Guay says that the first showing of Watch Dogs came in the summer of 2012 before anyone knew what the next gen of consoles and hardware would be. The producer explains that he and Ubisoft, quote, did our best at the time to predict what that would be and always were forward that the first showing was running on a very powerful PC, end quote. Essentially, the lack of information that the development team had on the PS4 and the Xbox One meant that they perhaps overestimated how good the final release could look on those consoles. What is positive, however, is that Ubisoft is unlikely to make the same misstep with upcoming sequel Watch Dogs 2. For the game, which will be released on PC, PS4, and Xbox One later this year, Guai says that the team has, quote, been developing the game on our target platforms from the beginning, end quote. Y also adds that Watch Dog 2 uses an evolved version of the first Opus technology and that the lighting and effects are more realistic and the world much more detailed and dynamic this time around. Plus the graphics aren't the only thing that fans can expect the sequel to improve on. For starters, the new game ditches divisive protagonist Aiden Pierce with Watch Dogs 2 introducing Marcus Holloway who is described as a charming and funny member of the hacktivist group Dead Sec. Moreover, Watch Dogs 2 won't feature the tower climbing mechanic that has been present in so many other Ubisoft games. While the mechanic has been used in other Ubisoft titles as a way of getting players to explore, the fact that it is so overused has been an idea of criticism from some players and they will be glad to see it go. What do I think about this guys? Um, show me the money Ubisoft. Uh, this is something that this company is known for at this point. It's kind of an ongoing joke that they will release trailers and reveal trailers of games and once you finally see the actual home console version or even the PC version, it has had a significant graphical downgrade. I don't respect that at all. You know, as someone who owns Rainbow Six Siege and someone who owns Watch Dogs and owns some of these games, to see the, the actual reveal trailers and then see the, the actual in-home, on-your-box representation of that, I feel duped. I feel like I'm lied to. I don't like that. And, and they don't just do it with one franchise. Ubisoft did the same thing with Far Cry. They do it, they do it with every single one of their franchises. And it's a company that you, you just can't trust. And it's unfortunate that I feel that way because for, for the most part, a lot of their games are actually really good. But when you uh, create a vertical slice of a game or you show someone a reveal trailer of a game and when they finally go out and pay that $60 premium to buy into that idea of what they've been shown and then they get a much less version of that game or a game that's not nearly graphically intense, the person feels duped and I feel duped by Ubisoft on numerous occasions. Uh, hopefully this game is good. I feel kind of burnt on the first Watch Dogs game. I never beat it. I played it and I just never got into it. It didn't have enough layers for me. But who knows, Watch Dog 2 might actually be good. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to click on that link in the description. There is an awesome video that shows the uh, reveal trailers compared to the actual in-home games that Ubisoft releases. And there's a huge disparity there. And it can't be denied that this company is known at this point for showing incredibly beautiful uh, slices of games before they come out. And then once you get the actual in-home version of the game, it's a crapshoot compared to what you, what you saw uh, in the trailer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you did in the comments section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.